Hi, my name is Janet Bozeman. I'm the owner of Bozeman Media. I've been an independent publicist now for 13 years. And um, before that, I was the head of publicity for Sparrow Records and Sony Music Nashville. And I come from a background of radio, which uh, led me to uh, eventually become a publicist. I think publicity for an independent artist is very important from the standpoint of it helps with the branding of the artist. We can help tell the story of who they are, what their testimony is, and also just make awareness just overall that the music is out there, what their music is like, where people can find it. Now, I do think sometimes independent artists need to hire a publicist at the right time. I, sometimes I've had independent artists come to me a little too early and I'll tell them now's not the time. Come back in about three months after this happens and then we'll be ready to go. So I think it's important to make sure you get a publicist at the right time. Sometimes I get calls when they are wanting, like they just recorded an album in that little studio that belongs to a friend or something like that. But to be honest with you, I've heard some really good music in situations like that and even creative music. But if that's all they're doing and they're not touring and there's nothing else they can put around it, you really need for an indie artist to be touring. And if they're not, there's just not going to be enough awareness that the music is out there. You really don't have enough to build on unless they have an incredible testimony. But at the same time, you're not going to sell records. You're not going to develop a fan base if you don't get that music out there and people can see it in a live performance situation. I think if they have a story that is something that makes that stands out that is not the norm. You grew up in a church, you're a pastor's son or daughter, um, abstinence before marriage. Those are very common stories in the Christian music world. So you need to, if, if there's something that really makes you stand out that's different on how you became a Christian, um, if you really had to overcome a lot of obstacles to get there, whether it be drugs or being raised in a non-Christian home or something like that, you've got a powerful story. So something like that could help, but you've, at the same time, as an independent, it's going to be hard to call these Christian outlets as an indie who don't know you. And that's part of the reason that you hire a publicist is because they know the publicist and they will more readily take a call from a publicist than they would from an indie artist. One way you can vet a publicist would be to, um, number one, ask for recommendations. They should have, um, uh, lots of them, have, I do, they have a website where you can look up who they have, who they are working with, who they have worked with, testimonials that clients have given them. Um, you can also ask for a media plan, what they might do for your um, project. Now, if you're going to do that, you need to make sure you're in a role of wanting to hire them at that point because you can you can ask for a media proposal from several independent publicists but just make sure you are ready just don't ask for it and think well I'm really not ready to hire one yet because there is a lot of work that does go into that so but you can ask for those things to get good recommendations and if you know people in the industry just ask around uh, most of my business has come from word of mouth Well, I think the first thing you should do is uh, build up your reputation in your regional area. And that's going to be the easiest way for an independent artist to do it on their own. It's so hard to do on a national level when you don't really have the contacts and don't have, um, it's difficult to build those relationships because you don't have access to those people. So you do have access to your hometown paper. Try to get the music writer or the religion writer, whoever does the music, it differs at each paper. Try to get them out to your shows. Um, try to get them out to lunch. Try to get to know them, your local TV reporters who cover entertainment at the TV stations. Um, definitely the air personalities and the music and program directors at your local radio stations. Try to build up those relationships first is where I would start. And then you can build from there. I think it's very important for any artist to be a part of the industry that they're going to be recording in. Uh, they need to come to town, they need to meet people, 
most of the industry of the Christian industry is based here in Nashville, Tennessee. They need to come to any events that are going on, songwriting opportunities, any sort of special concerts. Meet people, introduce yourself, go by labels, see if you can make appointments with anybody. Just get your name out there so people get used to seeing you and know who you are.